fight the real enemy. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times artists went overboard. I love you, Eileen. And I love you, Christy. No, I really love you. For this list, we'll be looking at any time artists got a little too excited or worked up for their performances. Regardless of the medium, these performers went to extraordinary and sometimes dangerous lengths for their art. Did we forget one of your favorite artists going overboard? Let us know in the comments below. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. This could fall apart at any moment. Everything's just hanging by a thread. Number 10. Rhythm Zero by Marina Abramovich. Marina Abramovich developed Rhythm Zero as a radical piece of performance art. The 1974 experiment tasked onlookers with interacting with her motionless body. I'm not interested in dying, but I'm interested in how far you can push the energy of the human body, how far you can go, and then see that, that actually our energy is almost limitless. They were allowed to use one of 72 objects on Abramovich. For six hours, the artist did nothing in her room as people did as they pleased with the items available. Okay, I'm going to make the piece to see how far public can go if the artist himself doesn't do anything. Some of the public cut her and even put a loaded gun in her hand. Thankfully, the performance ended without her getting seriously injured. It brought out the darkest depths of humanity in its simple conceit. I started being myself because I was there like a puppet just for them. And that moment, everybody ran away. People could not actually uh, confront with, my, with me as, as a person. Clearly, the entire thing went off the rails in the worst way possible. Number 9. Christian Bale Loses Weight There's only a handful of artists that would go to the lengths that Christian Bale did for the film The Machinist. The actor lost 62 pounds to enter the role of insomniac Trevor Resnick. It resulted in a startling and gaunt transformation that tested the artist's health. Even though the intended weight was meant for a shorter build, the performer decided to put his body to the test anyway. You okay? Oh, I look okay. If you were any thinner, you wouldn't exist. No. Bale maintained an extremely limited diet that ended up being slightly better than starvation. It wasn't the last time the star tried a massive change to his appearance either. For the sake of everyone's health, the unhealthy trend deserved to end long before the release of this movie. Hey, perfect fit. <laughs> yeah, well, Trevor, I don't have a size 26 waist here. Number 8. Richie Blackmore at California Jam Deep Purple guitarist Richie Blackmore was especially fired up during this concert. He channeled all of his pent-up aggression into an infamous outburst at California Jam. While messing around with his guitar, the musician decided to attack one of the stage cameras. He absolutely devastated multiple instruments and threw various objects into the crowd. The show wasn't over though, as stagehands added fuel to the fire. Pandemonium ensued as a planned pyrotechnic laid waste to Blackmore's amplifier. Smoke and flames brushed across the stage as the whole act came to a dramatic end. Hey, we're all for an energetic performance, but this was a little bit much. Number 7. Chris Burden's Shoot in 1971, artist Chris Burden etched his name into history with his performance, Shoot. Captured on film, the performer's friend fired a 22 caliber rifle into his shoulder. In Shoot, I'm shot in the upper left-hand arm by a friend of mine. The non-lethal yet shocking act spoke to Burden's feelings about violence in the media. No matter what he did after, he never quite escaped the controversy surrounding the shooting. He said uh, he's thinking of doing a, a piece where he gets shot, and uh, would I be the shooter? Would I be willing to work with him on it? And I like the challenge and the idea of, of uh, shooting someone for art. It was an extreme way to discuss destructive events like Vietnam. 
His subversive outlook on life and art was ahead of its time and maybe not the best idea ever. It turned out to be a flesh wound. He went in and out of my arm with a 22 bullet. Luckily, the art of shooting never became popular after this stunt. Number 6. Leonardo DiCaprio Eats a Real Liver Filming The Revenant presented a number of challenges for lead Leonardo DiCaprio. His most method performance involved inclement weather and remote filmmaking that pushed him and his fellow artists to their breaking point. In a scene where DiCaprio's character consumed a bison liver, the performer opted to eat the real thing. Naturally, the vegan actor was especially put off by the experience. It's safe to say that you don't have to abstain from animal products to find that decision questionable. He had the choice to eat a gelatin version, but the star decided to go the extra mile for his art. I went for the real thing, and my, uh, my, uh, my reaction is up on screen. Number 5. The Reincarnation of Orlon The artist known as Orlon spent the early 1990s getting nine plastic surgeries. Each one was meant to be the likeness of famous women from art history. Moi, j'ai essayé d'utiliser la chirurgie, mais non pas avec euh, ses habitudes de rajeunissement et d'amélioration, mais j'ai essayé de travailler les images et, et la chirurgie dans un autre sens, mais m'en servir, parce qu'effectivement, à notre époque, on s'en sert beaucoup. She explored the process of altering one's own image in the most drastic way possible. While some people have experience with plastic surgery, this experiment took the idea of change to another level. En fait, l'idée aussi c'était d'apporter de la différence. Et c'est la différence et l'acceptation de la différence et le regard sur la différence qui m'intéresse. She confronted the concept of cosmetic surgery, femininity, and art all in one project. Orlon's radical transformations into subjects like the Mona Lisa shocked critics. Her bold and irreversible methods were not for the faint of hearts. J'ai toujours essayé de casser les barrières qui sont dans les têtes entre les sexes, entre les générations et aussi entre les pratiques artistiques. Number 4. Jim Carrey transforms into Andy Kaufman. Man on the Moon was a biopic centering around the life of comedian Andy Kaufman. Hello. I am Andy and I would like to thank you for coming to my movie. Jim Carrey starred as the real man in a completely method performance. Carrey only appeared on set in character to the detriment of the cast and crew. This led to frustration and antics that nearly derailed the project altogether. He also showed up as Kaufman's aggressive alter ego Tony Clifton and berated people the entire time. What's going on? Oh, what? Sound check. I'll check the sound. It's working. The actor's tactics made for a stressful atmosphere that was recounted in the documentary Jim and Andy, The Great Beyond. Needless to say, it sounded like a miserable experience for everyone else involved. Universal decided at that time that they didn't want me to allow any of that to surface so that people wouldn't think I was an asshole. Number 3. Axl Rose vs. St. Louis Frontman Axl Rose's reputation took a substantial hit after this 1991 incident. The singer took issue with a camera-wielding fan at a concert in St. Louis. Take that! Now, get that guy and take that! I'll take it, goddammit! Security wasn't as helpful as the singer had hoped, leading him to take matters into his own hands. Rose jumped into the crowd like it was a WWE match. Afterwards, he decided to leave in protest. Well, thanks to the lame-ass security, I'm going home. The rowdy spectators didn't take kindly to the sudden exit and decided to riot. They tore the Riverport Amphitheater venue into pieces. Hundreds of thousands of dollars later, many blamed the artist for stoking the flames of violence. The fracas resulted in at least 60 injuries to police and fans, 16 arrests, and reportedly over a million dollars worth of damage to the brand new amphitheater. It's only the second concert ever to be held there. Number 2. David Blaine Freezes in Time 
David Blaine made it clear on several occasions that he wanted to be the modern-day Harry Houdini. In his Frozen in Time special, the magician attempted to withstand freezing temperatures. I was slipping in and out of consciousness. I thought this was never going to end. He stood inside a block of ice for over 63 hours in a truly crazy scenario. While that sounds impressive, it was actually hours short of his ultimate goal of 72 hours. David, just moments ago, David leaned out, talked to Steve Rose, and said, I want out. I want out now. Blaine failed to reach his intended time due to reasonable concerns over his well-being. To avoid any lasting health problems, the performer was removed from the ice. Would you put your life on the line for a magic trick? We didn't think so. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Keith Moon blows up his drum. Moon loaded his bass drum with gunpowder that nearly deafened him and his bandmates. Jared Leto as the Joker. The Suicide Squad performer went nuts with his method acting and mischievous antics. Whenever I met Jared, he never broke character, so uh, I would say, Hi, I'm Karen Fukuhara, nice to meet you, I'm Katana, and then he would come at me with, ah, 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 ah. Hi, pretty. <laughs> Sophia Urista pees on a fan. The Brass Against singer relieved herself on stage while standing over a festival goer. Robert De Niro grinds his teeth. To play ex-con Max Cady, De Niro paid thousands to grind his teeth down. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Jubal Brown paints with vomits. The artist decided to spit up colors in a strange new way to fill a canvas. He deliberately ingested foods of specific primary colors and then went to major art galleries to intentionally puke on famous paintings. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Tom Cruise doing all of his own stunts Tom Cruise started out as an actor and later became a full-blown stuntman. He became a producer on his films to ensure that he can do whatever he wants on screen. His roles as Maverick and Ethan Hunt inspired the star to put his body on the line for his roles. Cruise trained to fly planes and jump out of them like it was nothing. Altitude. 25, feet. Somehow, through it all, he escaped with only minor injuries. His defiance of age stereotypes and gravity baffled the mind. Nobody has stopped Cruz's one-track mind from entertaining audiences with increasingly dangerous stunts. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.